Okay, let's uh, let's get a move on here. Um, what we should do, or what we're going to do? Let's see, 135 pounds. That's that's pretty decent. Let's just get going with. Um, the railroad. Uh, so normally, yeah, uh, we'll just start it. Start Hubert's comics. Are we still? <laughs> it's going to be close. At the rate that this character levels up, this is going to be very close. Turn the volume down on my ear just a little bit. Um, could just go straight to the Old North Church, but just in case there happens to be some somebody who's never joined the railroad, perhaps. Um, I can't say that that's a possibility with the views that I get in my particular videos. Uh, but... Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to start here. Wrong button. <coughs> and it'll tell you to come out this way and talk to this robot. So we'll be kind of sneaky. Stay out of the way of Swan. He's right over there. We're not ready for Swan yet. Let's see. Uh, we don't need that letter. So what's going to happen is, let's turn the light on. We're going to trigger this spot. That robot's going to come out and give us a whole bunch of history. Uh, I'm not going to do that. You can do that on your own. But you start here. Seven. Now, seven A. Now, you have to follow this red line here all the way around. We're getting some plenty of combat. Don't worry about it. Now, this is a great thing to do, especially if you like, if you've got uh, the nuke cola cafe or whatever right over there we can get some sleep you get a lot of extra xp doing this or and if you've got piper her uh affinity maxed out and then you touch four that one l four l definitely a code. all right if you've never done this before you need to write all that stuff down or i'll just tell you how to do it when we get back to the when we get down to the railroad loop around Follow this. Now we've killed everybody in this area already, but there's another marker. Two and A. There we go. Follow this red line. It actually kind of disappears here. It goes over there, um, but you need to stay on this path here. So you'd have to go through and the super mutants would be in your path, blah, blah, blah. Follow this red brick around the edge. It will take you over here to Good Neighbor, which is a good place to start. Now a six. I don't know. Not really. Uh, there's always a bad dogs here, and I always forget about this this settler. Uh, mostly because there's usually a landmine around here or something. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Cosworth got in my way. Let's see. I'm not going to take any. I'm just looking for caps. Oh, I can take the shot glass. So that that dog, that little hair on the dog, perhaps? I don't know. Now, hunker down when you get closer over here. You want to hunker down. Because when you start this quest, you're going to get these ghouls. Don't forget to hit up your 3A here. 3I. Or 3I. Exterminator. We don't really need that. This this guy's already here. There's a few things in there, but we're not going to go in. Because I want to get to the railroad quickly. If, as long as cars were... But it's important to 
kind of stay away from those clowns over there because your companion follower, whatever you want to, pain in the neck, whatever you want to call them, they will engage those guys. And we've got a big fight coming up anyway. I don't need the gold watch. We'll take the bobby pin. What does this raider have? There's always a stash here. Take the coffee cup. Now, it's probably a good idea to... We got a bunch of frag mines here. We're just going to throw these frag mines down here. Probably toss one out there. Maybe toss one over there. Now, as long as you get your companion to stay out of the way, which they won't. Well, you're the one that's in the way out there in the middle of nowhere. Oh, cash register. This raider tried to take the cash register. Maybe he didn't have the ability to get into it. Uh, take the, the apples. They're an ingredient. Ah, we take a few pieces of glass. I'm doing this in the dark. Sorry about that. But I'm trying to tell you what's going on while I do it. And then there's this raider over here. So this is Faneuil Hall. And what you've got here is you've got a super mutant and a, and a hound down there. You've got two super mutants on the scaffolding. One of which will have a missile launcher. And then sometimes you'll get a suicider that comes around this side over here. Now this is all dependent on how sneaky you can be about doing everything. What's all this? In and out of the building. Very good. Might as well pick up our minds since we're moving on here a little bit. And the reason is, <laughs> is because your trigger, if you're following along with this, if Codsworth doesn't get you discovered, is right here. So you've got to do that. You can see it's very bright here. Oh, I don't need that. That's all right. We'll loop around and grab the super mutant hound because we definitely want the... Oh my gosh. I have never seen this raider in here before. I guess I just probably don't even pay any attention. We don't need all that stuff. Probably the best thing to do is actually send Codsworth on his way. We'll take the rad stack me. We'll get over here where I can stand up. Let's send him home, because he's just going to get us busted. Hey. Miss Lady. Hey, Codsworth. There we are. Thank you. It's time for you to head home. As you wish, Mom. I'll be at the homestead. Cheerio. Good. All right. We'll just back down this way. He's probably going to get in, in a fight with those super mutants over there. Yep, there he goes, right there. See, he just got in a fight with those super mutants over there. I should have waited... Take the alarm clock. It's got nuclear material. Oh, there's our first frag grenade, perhaps. Uh, nice. So this... Good. Now if we hurry, because that other suit mutant will come and get the... Good. 
They'll come get the missile launcher if you don't hurry. I don't want it. This character won't be using missile launchers for very much. Now, they could have got in a fight with... There's a death claw in that building right there that hangs over the side. Sometimes they engage that death claw. But I think they went after Codsworth. Now that our area is clear, we can just collect all of our goodies. Ooh, some fusion cores. And I don't know why that's... It sounds like Codsworth probably getting in a fight with those guys over it. On the other end over there. Good. So we're easing through here. Don't forget there's this cap. Now, your red line kind of disappears behind this rubble. But you can catch it here. Make sure you get that. Oh, I guess we're going in there. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Let's turn around and go back. We don't need to... I don't know why I just kind of went in there. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Probably should have enough time to get down to the door, at least, of the railroad. And I know, I've got a couple of perk points to spend. So you follow the red line around here. And you're going to end up at Paul Revere's house, which is right there. But there, there's a super mutant and two mutant towns over here. And for whatever reason, he, he just gets activated when you hit the location. Speaking of, I forgot to get that mutant hound meat from that other one. That's okay. It'll be alright. Turn your light on. Eight Freedom Trail next. Marker. You can read the Paul Revere house here. Built in 1680, this wood building is the oldest structure in all of Boston. In 1770, this was the home bought by former or famed patriot Paul Revere. Paul Revere dwelled here with his family, including 16 children, until 1800. Paul Revere was living here when he made his famous midnight ride to Lexington and Concord to warn Sam Adams and, Paul and John Hancock that the Redcoats were en route to arrest them and seize the militia weaponry. Now, this is a bit of a mistake because the Paul Revere wasn't the only one. In fact, a lot of the railroad it depicts the way that the the information was passed. Um, so Paul Revere didn't get on his horse and ride all the way to Concord all by himself. Um, that's not how it worked. Uh, we like to kind of, you know, we like to deify him because he was part of it. But he was also part of the Boston Massacre that a lot of people don't understand or don't know about is he had a newspaper and he wrote propaganda for the Bostonians. So, and here, then here is the last place here. One R. Hmm. Right at the church. The trail ends right at the church. And this is the old North Church. And you see this light. One if by land, two if by sea, right? And they would light candles along the whole path. Uh, let's see here. Built in 1723, the old North Church is the oldest standing church in Boston. It's 191 foot tall steeple. Also makes it the tallest church in Boston. On the night of April 18, 1775, Lieutenant Colonel Smith marched with 700 British soldiers to Concord on a mission to disarm the rebels. Using a plan devised by Paul Revere, Robert Newman, by Paul Revere, Robert Newman climbed to the top of the church and lit two lanterns to alert patriots that the Redcoats were coming up the Charles River by sea, thus inspiring Longfellow's famous verse, One up by land, two up by sea. The battles of Lexington and Concord that followed would start the American Revolution. So they actually went up there to disarm. And there was a munitions depot, I believe, in Lexington that they wanted to control. The Brits did. Or the Redcoats, if you would like. I would, if, you're in this, if you're a sneaky character, get back down in the sneak mode. Right around the corner here is the hardest ghoul. Sometimes it's legendary. And then there's one there. 
and there's one at the very far end that will go and clear him out here in just a moment. If you come in here out of sneak mode, sometimes you'll alert the ghoul on down the stairs, which we're heading just a little bit. I don't want the subway token or the lighter. There, we just alerted him. Take the flip lighter. Now, if you go up and out here, we'll go to the steeple. You can get a sniper rifle, sniper rifle, and some caps up there. If, uh, in fact, let's just do it, just so you can see. I won't collect it because I don't want it. Because I don't remember. I think it's a scoped sniper rifle. It's one of a few locations where you can get a fully, um, well, a scoped hunting rifle anyway. The other is over at the Red Rocket Station in Cambridge. There is a, at the top of the Red Rocket Station, there is a um, scoped hunting rifle at an early level if you want to do that. There's a bobby pin box. Uh, well, there used to be a sniper rifle up here. Maybe it's somewhere else now that I have the unofficial patch installed. Hmm. Did I pass it? It's usually just laying up here. Or it's on this windowsill. I don't know. Maybe it's not here anymore because of that. But if you don't have the unofficial patch, there's usually a sniper rifle up there. Or a hunting rifle with a full stock and a scope. It could be anywhere, I suppose. Maybe where it's supposed to be instead of on the steeple. I have no idea where it's at. Anyway. We get over towards Cambridge. Maybe I can uh, show you where that one is. Um, there's a, And the one in Cambridge is kind of a crapshoot on how difficult it is to get it. Um, if you get there... And you're lucky there won't be any hard enemies to fight at that red rocket station if you're not lucky there might be some uh, bunch of mire lurks or something some tough enemies to fight I don't usually come up here and explore so but I was just curious as to if that sniper rifle is up there now instead. Hunker down. Don't forget this med kit here. First aid kit. This ghoul is dead and always here. I'm glad you don't get hit. It's always withered ghoul. So if he was alive when you got here at level 3 or 4. Oh, that might be a bear. So it's just a zone trigger when you reach a certain location is when that ghoul will come up. Toy rocket ship. Just stay hunkered down. I don't think there... Oh, there is. Wow. I never get that wooden crate because I'm. I just go right by it. Maybe it's not ever there. If that, I don't know. I don't know what parts I'm just overlooking and what parts have been corrected or added in because of the unofficial patch. I don't need the spoon. There's another. If you didn't know, you can pickpocket ghouls. Um, so if you've got the reverse pickpocket skill, which is a hoot, you can pickpocket them. Okay, so how much time do I have? I've got five, four and a half minutes here. So, when you reach here, you'll see the red arrow. That indicates what letter you're supposed to have. And if you wrote all of the clues down and put them in order, you'll find out that it says... Hmm. Huh. It spins. Whoops. 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 I went too fast. So, you get R1. Rail. 
A two starts with R. Three Rail R Road Go back. Oops, one too many times. Spells railroad. Boom, and you know you're right when you get your new marker. There we go. Okay. Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell? All right, so we're going to utilize all of our persuasion checks, except for lying. We won't do lying. Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of nah. suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synth's only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. Uh, it doesn't really make any difference. Um... I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. It's clear you're not with the Institute, but who told you how to contact us? You can be honest if you want. I just heard a rumor about you guys in Good Neighbor. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? We're <laughs> having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. <laughs> who is this? Wow, newsflash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal out there. Glad someone noticed. You know, <laughs> practically famous. Does the Silver Shroud mean anything to you? I heard he took out Sinjin's gang all by he. himself. Pretty remarkable, huh? And, as if that wasn't enough, you've left a trail of destruction in your wake. Gone places no sane person would go alone. So you're vouching for her? Yes, trust me. She's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger. Why did you want to meet with us anyway? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. I'm not 100% sure who kidnapped him yet. I hope for your sake it's someone else. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? A synth? What's that? They are synthetic humans created by the Institute. So close to real people that the distinction is meaningless. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a simp? Now your responses will depend on if you're male or female. I risk my life for people every day. Not really, it's but... It's no difference to me <laughs> if it's a human or a simp. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Okay, next we're supposed to talk to Deacon. We're going to pick that up in the next, in the, in the next video. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.